When I write ya All across the USC, Compton, Watts Bay to LA From on to California From valley to valley We represent that killer county So if you keeping it real on your side of your town You tune in to Gangsta Chronicles Gangsta Chronicles We gon' tell you how it goes uh, If I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth Ooh. Gangsta Chronicles This is not your average show You're now tuned in to the real MCA, Big James, and Big Steel This is strictly from the streets Hello Now, what, how much time you do 17? No, I did 18. 18. God damn, you walked off 18? Yeah, I did 18 in that bitch. Boy, this nigga man? cold, boy. Yeah, so you know, so that's how it was. Cause, you know, I was one of them niggas that came in in an era where... Oh, so you yeah, watched the change, too? I watched the change, because I went in in 92. Mm. So, gang, so gang banging was, well, see, now, in so Dallas in 92? The banging was like, nigga, nigga 92, the banging had just hit that up. Yeah. That bitch had just hit, right? Versus when you came home. Yeah. See, 92, that bitch had just hit. So he was like, okay, this what's happening. See, he was crip on crip down there. I mean, it was, it was always like, was I never knew, I crib. never, I right. never knew nothing else anyway. Yeah, because yeah, I, I was going, I, I was going to Dallas I, I never, 93, Yeah, I never seen the game bang yeah. where it wasn't just crip versus crip. I don't even know what that is. Nigga, do you know how many niggas I had to knock out behind MC8? And I ain't even know this nigga. That's crazy. I mean, <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean this on some real shit because I'm sitting here with the homie right now, right? Man, nigga, I never jammed DJ Quick. Oh, oh I see I never why. That shit, right? I see why. It was his ass to go. <laughs> you missed out though. <laughs> no, 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 check out. But I see. But no, shots. but no, but I see why though. A lot of because dudes, if you from dudes, somewhere else, a lot of dudes though. I uh, never felt from like out I of town. Yeah, took sides. They took sides. What's funny is even with the West Coast, East Coast shit, they OG. Eat, with the East Coast, West Coast shit, OG. I don't think we ever gave a fuck. Right. We played everybody's shit. When Quick no, and Eight, no. we, nobody stopped listening to nobody's shit. No, it was no. just this or that was hard or this the hard next exactly. nigga shit. That way. Some, when I listen to niggas like where where uh where's uh fucking uh Doggy Doggy and them took that shit serious. <laughs> them niggas was like yeah this the East Coast. I'm like oh we ain't nobody taking that shit serious nigga ain't nobody care about no motherfucking rap beefs. People really felt that that's how it was, and they chose sides. Yeah, a lot of We never did. was compelled to choose between Quick or Eight. No. We was never compared to choose between Biggie and Pop. I was. Oh, yeah, but you in the middle of it. I had to ride with Quick. Yeah, yeah. But you I in the middle to, of it. And, I, and then at that time, I'm in the 77 Cadillac, and I used to have my bumper kit. <laughs> and I, I was DJ Quick all day. So, because we fucked with each other. Our hoods and everything, everybody was together. So when him and Eight Beef came, fuck it, I gotta bump quick. And I don't listen to rap, yeah. but I only bumped it in certain places. I didn't sit in the hood and bump DJ Quick, I bumped Odie. Yeah, no, you gonna bump the shit where you gonna aggravate somebody. But when somebody. they was going at it, I was like, oh shit, this is You chose shit. a side. <laughs> and, and I already knew when, when Death Row came and, and it was against New York, oh shit, let them niggas come out of here then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to take sides. I ain't lying. Yeah, I'm, I'm with the homies. Because if, you know, motherfuckers don't get it. If I see, and, and, it, and I done went yeah. back for bloods I didn't even sure. know. If I see that red rag swinging and banging, we pulled over and got out and had to get down. It was, and that's how I met a lot of the homies. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers that keep driving. Oh, he getting his ass whooped. No, if you banging the rag, rock with the rag. You feel me? Exactly. And that's how I rolled with Quick. You remember the first time you heard Dollars and Cents, OG? Mm hmm Where was you at? But you man the motherfucker. Actually, I wasn't. I mean. Where was you at? I don't know where I was like at. How did, like, who hood. brought it to you? Probably in the neighborhood, because um, I was still going to the hood at the time. Um, at the car wash, probably at the car wash on Compton Boulevard in Palmer did, Block. Did that ever really, I don't, see now I remember being around the city at that time, but way too young. It never really leaked to the streets like that though, right? Shit. Niggas be talking about movies? Nah, we had, we had, oh, it we did. had serious, oh, yeah. I was we had up. serious gang beef behind that, that, that episode. Wow. Like, like niggas had like, the homies, like, it was some real drag down ass fist fights 
all that type of shit. Like, that was a serious beef as far as gangbanging was concerned. And so um, it was a lot of casualties behind that Absolutely. because niggas was still in the streets. I think if it wasn't for the fact of that, if it was just on some rap shit, it would have been different. But because niggas was actively claiming shit. treetop and trag new and that type of shit, and then like I say, niggas felt like they just I, it them. was it, it was it was beyond us because of our affiliation to neighborhoods. So now you got the homies who are feeling disrespected because of what is going on. So now that beef is jumping off. It ain't even got to be me and him around nowhere. Yeah, exactly. It could be two homies from here and three homies from their hood, and they going to get out because it's, it was just happening at the time. That's so crazy. It, I'm going I'm to I'm tell y'all, when I saw, what was that, Minister Society? Mm -hmm. When you woke up and, and dumped on over board them, mm -hmm. I was mad as a motherfucker because I knew <laughs> I swear to God, I'm one number. Look, why was you mad at AWAX? No, I wasn't mad at AWAX. I said AWAX, the character. Look, I'm looking because I knew it was a blood on the ground, and he walked up on you. It's funny, I never got that from Minister Society. I got the jazz shit up. I got, I threw the, I threw my bottle, my my forty off the motherfucking table. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> I never got that from oh, Minnesota society. Say, some prejudice, I, I thought it, it seemed they like they stayed. A, shit. It seemed like they stayed away from cribbing and blood to me. No, that's what it was. Did they, it feel they, like they, that? They that, didn't. They, they, didn't. they didn't mention it. But that was the direction because they had on you, burgundy. Exactly. Oh, they they did. Had, if you're a gang yeah. member, you knew exactly what like the fuck happened. He took off and killed the motherfucker. We were having I mean, shit. I mean, I you, look, you looked at it. Our hood was the Jordan Downs, even though they didn't clarify Clay, that yeah, we yeah, was yeah, from yeah. the Great Street. Yeah. But when he stood, oh, it was. Yeah. Our hood was the Jordan Downs. So they never yeah. gave anything. They didn't give names to it because they knew how much funk that shit would bring here in right. LA. If you notice. Same thing with Western Hood. Just yeah, like they, with, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Didn't, yeah. they didn't go, we're cripping or we're from this hood or we're yeah. that hood. They go, okay, y'all put on some burgundy sweatshirts, eight and them, you put on a blue Pendleton and you wear the blue A's hat or whatever. But they didn't want to clarify it like that because they probably would have caught flack a lot from, of from all kind of motherfuckers in the city yeah. and we probably wouldn't have been able to show the movie. Yeah, oh, y'all yeah. talking about the 60s or the yeah. Grape Streets or y'all talking sure. about... The so you just had to make it as open as possible. Exactly. If you, was from, if you were from just... L.A., you knew. Right. That's it. Right. Like and I, I said, knew. They show, they show us. I knew. Say, I knew exactly what happened. I lived that scene like a motherfucker. I motherfucker. Can, I get up shit. here and, and act that shit out. Did you feel like that with Boys in the Hood when Ice Cube got him at the end? Boys, no, not like this one. No, no. Well, that was that just was too personal. close. Nah. That was personal. No. Say, Glass, you know like, all shit was heat. This is hilarious. Yeah. The yeah. movie was no, live. I know you were. I know you were. I know you were. The movie was live. The movie was live. But nigga, I mean, damn, where we was at, we didn't get crunk until A did that. Yeah, Boys in the Hood wow. wasn't. We didn't get boys in the like Hood wasn't. Just, you know. It wasn't minister society, and after and for the fact that we had the little beef going on, it just made that just like, it just like, cause niggas was active. That's why. Right. Hey, wax and dope. Nobody, boy. nobody That's associated. Crazy. Even though Cube was Cube, sure. nobody associated Cube as like, oh, Cube from motherfucking soul. Yeah, yeah. Soul. Not right. at that. Nigga, yeah. We, we was banging. Yeah. You get yeah. me? So. When niggas saw that, like James, like, I mean, fuck like, oh, that that's shit. fucked up. Because them know. niggas is banging. Like, so, they, was real doing, they was really doing the shit. So if there was ever, like, I, I want, and we talk, you know what I mean? If there was ever a Death Row movie. It'd be a whole bunch of niggas dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ask me that question. It'd be a whole bunch of motherfuckers dead. Which scene would you, which scene would you feel like they would have to leave out? All of it. The, the whole movie? Said, all yeah. of that shit. Way the whole movie? Don't mention none oh, of that man. shit. I, I can't lie to you. It a had to be of, fun. It had to be fun initially when y'all first was trying to start it. Well, whooping motherfuckers' ass <laughs> is the fun <laughs> part. Jack, don't, now, when crazy. you get to the fucking <laughs> killing motherfuckers and, and just really on gunplay back and forth, that's the shit you, you, you can't talk about it. You can't put it out there. But some of that shit was, okay, I... That's cool. Fuck it. He deserved it. You know what I'm saying? But some the mo the majority of that shit is like 
fuck no, I'm too graphic. James, do you think if shit never went sideways, do you think Death Row could have been a power entity as I far think as Death music Row and been, would have been very powerful because when Shug came and got me, I didn't I didn't want Shug to take pictures, I didn't want Shug to do this. And when Death Row launched, and when y'all ever see that the first the first show that Death Row did, Shug had on the green suit. He never wore red. He didn't wear red. Yeah, like I, rem- that. I remember early on. So then when I when I got all the homies together and we did the Budweiser Super Fest, and he felt the power of the homies mm. pushing that crowd behind the stage, Suge was sitting like this and went like this. Power corrupts. Everybody ain't meant to have power like that. Power corrupts, man. He didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. He didn't know how to control this cat and that cat, the homies in general. So he had to incorporate the police to, so to, to have somebody to to have some kind of to keep leverage. that ass off that ass. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. And and now he felt that okay, I got the police and I got the homies. When you fir- when you first noticed it, was there somebody who really saw what you saw? Because I remember when you was telling well, me, you was like, home? yeah, you was like, man, he kind of losing, he he losing control a little bit, or, I, I, or he was I, in the wrong direction. I saw it at the beginning. But who who was the person that kind of saw it with you? It's always one person. No. They just all thought you the were homies, The homies was getting mad at me because I was on Shook Ass so much. And we, the first premiere we did, uh, DLC. We all in the limo with tuxedos on and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So just imagine a gang of motherfuckers rolling like this. DLC gets in the limo and start doing 90 up a motherfucking alley. So the homie wanted to shoot him in the back of the head. No, 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 no. So when the nigga pulled back up in front of the motherfucker, you got the cameras and all this shit, and I hope you hear it, sucker. He pulls back up, the homie want to get him. I said, no, nah, this shit, we, we doing our thing. Because it just started. So when we get out the car, I walk to DOC and I ask him, why the fuck did you do that? Now he thinking he that motherfucker because of Shug. So you ain't that motherfucker in front of Shug, nigga, you could have killed us. So I knocked him and slid him down the limo, right? Here comes Shug. Who hit Doc? I hit him, nigga. Okay, what you do? What you do wrong? You know, he was an alcoholic at the time. So, right after that, Shug knew who to fuck with, who not to fuck with, and who he didn't want to fuck with because he can't so control it. So at that point, he starts separating. Yeah, you can't control it. So now he's just putting on all this red and doing all of this. He doing that because nobody can touch him. If he looked at you and somebody looked and said, I did a fuck you finger or made it look like a fuck you finger, that motherfucker got knocked out. Yeah. Niggas was getting a bonus check just for how many niggas you can knock out in one night. So if it's one particular event that made you feel like that was gonna go wrong, what was the one, the first one you was like, this ain't gonna go right? In New York. When they booed him. In New York, we was in Oh New no, York. when he got on the stage. No, we, no, not when he did that, oh. it was before that. We're in New York and a bunch of motherfuckers was, didn't like Suge and was got to like saying fuck him and all this. I'm like, oh shit, but we out here with no pistols and yeah. shit. I'm like, okay, how are we gonna do this one? The next, the, the next motherfucking day, we go to the little mall, I buy me a knife, right? So we go back. <laughs> now, these yeah, motherfuckers, like, they, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just it. hold up. Nigga, you bought a knife from the mall? Yeah. Out of all the shit you can buy in the mall, you just got a knife. I, I needed a knife. So <laughs> we had to be ready, though, because we somewhere we ain't supposed to be. Yeah. And you can't go in the So that you, don't know, you don't know why they was mad? It was just. They just didn't like Suge, just like in Las Vegas. Niggas didn't like Suge. But Vegas, we can get in our car and roll with our pistols. We was good. Like 662. We was good at 662. When, when certain individuals was talking about coming to 662, we had homies posted. The only reason they didn't get out the car is because of the police that was there because of 662. All right, so New York. Now back to New York. So. Okay, so after that, these motherfuckers, my homeboy Showboat, rest in peace. Motherfuckers in the crowd start throwing shit. My homie Showboat start climbing the motherfucking stairs. The motherfucker that threw whatever, this drink or whatever, my homie Showboat went up there, picked his ass up, put him on the shoulder, and when he got close down to the witch call him, he dropped the motherfucker. Now here come all the police. The police ready to take us to jail. Well, ready to take Showboat to jail. Cause I was standing like this. 
I didn't throw the mother. <laughs> I didn't throw that nigga down there. <laughs> but we we had some heated times, man. But that one, that one thing in New York, you knew it was kind of. I knew it was, was gonna be on. Every situation we was in, I knew it was finna go bad because we had a purpose of being there. We knew we, what we was coming for. So in other words, he brought y'all when he knew it was gonna be. Some shit. He didn't have a choice. He didn't do nothing by himself. Damn. We was the muscle. We was the heat. Finally get a chance to let the real ones.